and welcome back. This is your man, Warrior. This is another patron roster review, and looky there, I am such a lucky dude. I've got none other than the Grand Admiral Thrawn as a patron. I feel honored and blessed. He is from the Roughnecks. He's the Zeta squad of Roughnecks, so what's happening, you guys? So Grand Admiral Thrawn has been playing well over a year, and he is mostly free to play. I guess I would call him a dolphin because he has spent a little money in the game, but much less than the average individual who does spend money in the game. So not completely free to play, but pretty close. Um, he's as soon as uh, Baze and Chirrut went free to play, he you know farmed the heck out of them, get them seven stars, which was super wise. And your arena squad looks good. You're looking for some suggestions on ships, some arena tips, um, and then also some direction. Um, you did mention you were going to farm your empire for R2D2. I suggest that's good. And also your crit damage mod sets you're going for. Um, so you want to finish that off with your Jawas. So keep going on that. So let's just jump right into it. We're going to go first in arena tips. And your team that you've got right here with Wedge, Biggs, Turret, and Bays, amazing in every way, shape, and form. I would make one tweak, and that is taking Jin out for our 2D2. That's right. You only have him five stars, but he's super viable. And boy, he brings a level of defensibility and durability and utility that Jin just cannot provide. He's way, 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 way tankier. He's got a stun, just like Jin so has a stun, but his stun's on his basic, which is excellent. He's got smoke screen. He's got improvise, which does tons of damage. It's like three damage over times over everyone's head that consistently lasts. Um, so really amazing. And eventually, if you were to do his number, crunch it's going to take your team from a really great to over absolutely amazing because he'll share his stats with the uh, rebels so pretty awesome um, I, I do definitely recommend him but you do have him like basically not leveled up at all um, you just have him at five stars sitting at the bottom so my suggestion for arena the number one tip is if you're going to use your team great you've got it all tweaked just how you like it and you're doing top 10 but i would put an r2d2 over jen urso as far as your ships go, you're using Admiral Akbar. that's good. You're using the Umbaran and Biggs as your two kind of tanky characters, that's good. You're using the TIE Advance, excellent. Um, for the two back ships, you're using, you know, you're using uh, Boba Fett and you're using um, the clone ship. And those are good ships. I actually recommend that Boba Fett be moved into the back lineup and the clone troopers ship being moved into the back lineup um, where you normally have your scimitar we uh, wedge and the TIE fighter pilot. And then I would bring in the TIE fighter pilot and the scimitar. The TIE fighter pilot is going to ensure that you get target lockdown first, which allows for your bigs to actually taunt and your, your scimitar will be able to put retribution on bigs. So that way um, he gets a ton of extra protection and he makes him more durable and it protects all the other ships. Plus all the ships you kill when new ones come in, the reinforcements have it, you know how that works. But so I would definitely take the bottom two ships out, uh, Boba Fett and the scimitar or Boba Fett and the uh, clone trooper and put in the scimitar and the TIE Fighter Pilot. And then in your back lineup, I would actually have it be Boba Fett because he's awesome, your Wedge and your Clone Trooper. As far as your overall farming goes, you did say you were going to go ahead and farm Empire. And so because of that, and because um, that's important to you for R2-D2 to get to seven stars, I would highly recommend that you do focus on Empire like you're suggesting. Um, and so when I look at your Empire team to get R2-D2, uh, really you could use those top five uh the TIE Fighter Pilot, Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, Grand Moff Tarkin, and Snow Trooper, because they're all seven stars. And then Snow Trooper does a ton of damage. He's excellent in the R2-D2 uh, event. Also, Grand Moff Tarkin's excellent in the event with putting down, you know, the offense and defense down. It's going to help with those characters because they do a lot of damage. And then Emperor Palpatine's a great leader. Darth Vader's tanky and does a lot of damage. And then TIE Fighter Pilot, of course, he keeps himself alive with the foresight and he does a lot of damage as well. Plus, he can ability block and buff immunity. Some really good stuff. So these are the top five you have, and those are really the ones I would recommend. And since they're seven star, you'll be able to get a seven star R2-D2. But you are going to have to gear them up. So this would be my number one gearing suggestion if r2d2 is important and in the meantime if you really want r2d2 seven stars like you say because of these guys then you are going to need to gear up r2d2 like i suggest anyway and as soon as you have them to gear nine and a half or ten you can switch Jin or so out and put r2d2 in Jin or so's place the only other people I'm going to suggest farming, because you already have a plethora of Empire you're going to have to gear up, and you've got R2-D2 to gear up, there's six characters alone, is your clone troopers. You've got three of them at gear uh, 10, and you have 
Rex, which is gonna be replaced by Leia. So fives is a gear nine. You really need to get him to gear 10. Continue to develop your clones. This is the highest damage dealing team in all of the Star Wars for the Heroic A18. And if you really wanna give a good effort on phase two or phase four with Leia, you are gonna to wanna to make sure you get these guys leveled up. And then of course, Cody's gonna to need to be Zeta'd which his eight leadership ability is not Zeta. And so this will be, in my opinion, the next Zeta you need. And then after Cody, hopefully by that time you get another Zeta, you'll have R2-D2 leveled up in an arena, and then you can do his numbers crunch as your second Zeta. But those would be the next two Zetas I'd focus on. Cody's first, and then R2-D2's numbers crunch for arena. So like I said, Scimitar, bring him in, TIE Fighter Pilot, bring him in, put the other two, Boba Fett and the clone ship into the backup and you'll be golden there. You're doing phenomenal already in your main squad arena. Take out Jin, put in R2-D2 when R2-D2's ready. See what happens, it's gonna be amazing. And then also make sure you farm up those Empire for your R2-D2 to get him to seven stars and finish those clones, Zeta Cody. And then when you get a chance, Zeta R2-D2's unique, the second unique crunching numbers you're going to be absolutely amazed so grand emerald thon what do you think hopefully these suggestions help you out everybody else leave your comments down below as to what he should focus on if you think there's something else that he should be looking at keep your gaming on warrior out